It's May 14th. Um, I got this colony of bees, a three pound package with a mated queen on April 8th um, from Baxley, Georgia. It looks to me like they all hatched out finally. I was worried that I was going to lose a lot of um, a lot more bees than I did. I, than I did. And for a while there, I was wondering if it was even going to make it because we had I was seeing so few of them. But apparently, they hatched. Um, I just got a bumper a crop of bees come through. And since the queen is not uh, capable of leaving, since they had a wings clip, even though I wouldn't do that again, uh, it looks like this is just our, my swarm that's coming home for the day. So, they're not swarming, they're just coming home. After a nice production day, I'm looking at their their bodies and they're carrying in pollen and that's good. Um, I did move the hive over a couple of feet so they might be orientating too on their way home. They're coming in the entrance. So I'm interested to see how far to get. They didn't drink a lot of water today either. So the syrup is only down a little bit as you can see and I put that in around 9 o'clock this morning and yesterday they drank the whole thing. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to see if I can get a nice um, close-up of the hive inside there. The village idiots are playing with their toys in the street, I hear. Basically, yeah, I'm also right in the middle of the swarm. I mean, they are literally all around me, and they're not, a, not one of them are touching me. I did tell, find out this: if I wear black, they don't like it. If I wear gray or a lighter color, they don't seem to bother me a bit. Um, they just go around me. As long as I'm not in their flight path, they're not going to mess with me. And tomorrow, we are going to be picking up Debbie's bee. This is uh, was supposed to be our me and her. Uh, project right here this is the first hive I made but it's big and it's bulky and I and I made some mistakes on it although it's a Taj Mahal a beehive now the one in the back is the one I made for Debbie's birthday I made that on uh, I was finished on May 6th I believe it was and it is all it's ready to receive some bees and tomorrow night I'll be putting in another package out of uh, JJ's bees out of um, out of Blackshear Georgia so I'm looking forward to that I got them separated far enough where I don't think it's gonna be a problem but boy I tell you what I was not expecting this bumper crop of baby bees to be born all in one day especially after yesterday when the county and their brilliance came by and fogged me I found like a, about 20 dead bees in the front even though I've got an agreement with the county, the county not to fog for mosquitoes in front of my house or behind it but they did um, I called them and they swore they would never happen again this is a third attempt but so it looks like I cover my bees entire last night I ran out here and I threw a, a, a sheet over it and it, might, it looks like it saved most of them and I think this is just um, a huge population boom they I'm all, almost a hatched because I've never seen this many bees or Maybe I picked up a bunch of stray bees. It happens. They're not robbing. They're not robber bees, that's for sure, because there's no fighting going on. And that's what I was originally worried about. Well, I'm going to shut up now, because Debbie said she wanted to hear them bees. I'll see if I can hear them without my mouth going. And I'm going to send this to my kids they, up in Alaska. My, my um, grandchildren and my son, Jason, he wants to see what they look like, so... This is what they look like, Jace. And hopefully I'll be sending you some honey in a couple months.
Oh, just for those who are asking, like my older son just now, why do I keep moving the bees? Well, I had them in the shade on the other side of the house. In the morning, they didn't get any sun until 1 o'clock. And since I've been slowly inching them across the yard over the last two weeks, um, they seem to do a lot better. I mean, a lot better in the sun. Um, where my wife's hive in the background is when they get early sun at around 9.30. <coughs> for sure, every morning. And that's direct sunlight all the way up until probably 7 o'clock. And I put on the, um, I, I'm trying something new. No one's, I've seen ever done it. But I found some of this um, reflective insulation for the inside of the wall. It's plastic, so it shouldn't have any problem repelling water. And it's like a bubble wrap. And it reflects the heat off back off the hive. And in the winter, it should actually hold the heat in since it's an insulation. So we're going to give it a shot. Um, we'll see how it works. And I'm going to do a video for you tomorrow, guys. Um, this is to my family I'm talking to. I'm going to give a video to me and Debbie installing that package over there to that new hive from start to finish. When we go to pick it up all the way to when we get home. Um, I will talk to you later. And I'm going to focus in one more time and I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to hang up on it. You can get a bit of shot before I hang it up for the day. I'm glad I left it open and didn't try to reduce the entrance, that's for sure. Maybe I'll try getting a little closer so you guys can hear the bees before I hang. Uh, I shut this down for the night. So here we go. I hope I don't get tore up too bad. Uh oh, that ain't gonna work.
Well, it looks like it's calming down. Maybe I'll leave it a little while on so that we can see what happens. They're also using the top entrance a little bit now. I, know, I see the one on the top. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> 